Hello humans, Blaze again, Boy TV here. And today guys, I have a Celebrations Elite Trainer Box to open up that we got from GameStop. I was also gonna get a Mini 10, but they would only let me get one, so I got the ETB. So yeah, um, so unfortunately, I was opening it up and then my camera cut off, so I lost all that footage. Um, and it, it came with 10 Celebrations packs and then like a Battle Styles, a Chilling Rain, two Darkness Ablaze, and a Vivid Voltage as well. Um, so I opened up all those other five packs and then the camera cut off and I lost all that. Luckily, I didn't open up the Celebrations though. Um, I still have all of them completely sealed. Um, and I got, I did get one good pull, Talonflame V. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put that one up there since we got it from this ETV. And also we have this beautiful Greninja um, Gold Star. Um, and like the main gimmick for the celebrations set is bringing back like old cards and the gold stars were from like 2000, like early 2000s. So yeah, this is my first gold star. I've never opened up one of those packs before, but yeah. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the, um, we're going to open up the packs. But first, when we went to GameStop, they gave me selling for free. They gave me this binder. They were giving them out like a year or so like a year and a half ago but i didn't get one because they ran out um but yeah this was like the first jumbo card binder and they also gave me a snorlax v max from sword and shield base set as you guys can see um but yeah i didn't get one when they first came out they ran out and i'm glad that i have another one because my old one is getting full um so yeah it's about time for me to start a new one because there's not much room left in my old one. So now we have all 10 of the celebrations packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, they only have one pack artwork and they only come with four additional game cards, which is why they also gave us like the five extra packs. So here we go. My very first pack from celebrations. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really cool cards that you can out of here so let's see there's only 25 cards in the main set and 25 in the subset the classic collection and every card is going to be a hollow or better so i'm not sure if there's like a card trick or anything so i'm just going to go straight into it so we have lugia hollow cosmog hollow um evil toll and then a professor's research um so yeah and then there's a code for you guys so yeah i'm gonna sleeve them all up um, after the video, but it'll take too much time, so I'm not going to um, do it during the video. But yeah, don't worry, I'll sleeve them all up um, after the video. So it looks like we don't get one of the classic collection cards in every pack since we didn't get one in that one. So far, nothing too great. Um, just, you know, some regular hollows. So let's see what we can get out of this one. So we have Xerneas. Dialga. Oh, there we go. We have a base set Venusaur from the Classic Collection and Solgaleo. So I'm going to keep this code for myself. Um, but this is a really nice pull. Um, I have the base set Venusaur, but it's ruined. Um, it's pretty much ruined because the person that I got it from, um, a lot of the cards, they gave me like an entire collection. Um, and the Venusaur was kind of ruined. A lot of them were in that grave condition, but I, there was also a base set Blastoise, and luckily that one's in good shape. But I'm so excited to add this one to my collection. And down here it says 1998, but it does not say Wizards of the Coast. It says um, Game Freak. Um, I guess because Wizards of the Coast doesn't print them anymore. And really the only difference besides that which is like a minor difference is like the 25th anniversary logo that's on like the McDonald's cards and stuff. And then like, um, and then the hollow pattern. And of course, like how it says, um, how it says like Nintendo and Game Freak instead. So we have Palkia, Lugia, and Cosmo. And it looks like we have something good. I think this might be like Zamazenta V. Yeah, it is Zamazenta V. So that is a really nice card. Um, a really good pull so yeah unfortunately only one classic collection card so far but we've only opened up three packs 
So there's going to be plenty more to come, hopefully. Also, I might be getting some more, like, tomorrow or something. I'm recording this on the day that the set comes out. However, um, however, they only let me get one at GameStop. So, yeah, I might be getting some more tomorrow. We have Palkia, which, which it seems like we're getting a lot of those. Reshiram, oh, wait, we might have a double hit. It looks like we have Luxray GL Level X. What a nice pull. And, oh, my goodness, we also have Flying Pikachu VMAX. That's, like, the best pack that I've had yet. Um, what a nice pull. Two great ones, actually. We have a Level X and a Flying Pikachu VMAX. Wow, I really like those two a lot. Um, and I have two level X's, a Reggie Gigas promo, as well as a Blaziken, and now I have three. So, yeah, that was a really, really nice pull. Let's see if we can get anything else out of this one. We're getting a lot of duplicate hollows. If you guys want me to do a giveaway on one of the hollows, then let me know and I might do one. So, it looks like we have Ho Ho, Xerneas, Kyogre, and Pikachu. This is actually one of my favorites from the set because it's like an extended artwork of the base set Pikachu. Wow, I'm really happy to get that one. That was like one of my favorites. And let's see. Yeah, we're only halfway through. We've only opened up five and we already have pulled five pulls out of them. So on average, we're getting like one hit every pack, which is crazy. So I kind of definitely would not mind to get like one of the first ever full arts, so Zekrom or Reshiram. So it looks like there's not much of a card trick, but I think that the classic collection will be like the third one, if there is one, and nothing good out of that one, unfortunately. So I think that the card trick is like, um, is like one to the front, I believe. So, yeah. So it looks like we have Lunala, Evil Tall, another Xerneas, and another Ho. So, yeah, looks like the card trick is, like, one to the front. Um, so, let's see what we can get. But I think that it's going to be, like, either the, um, uh, but if you get something good besides a Radiant Collection one, oh, all right. So, it looks like, oh, okay, we did get two out of this one. So, we got Surfing Pikachu V and Rocket's Admin, two very nice ones. So it looks like, um, I think that if you get a classic collection, it will be the second to last card, and then if you get an Ultra Rare from the main set, it's the last one. So I guess that there's not really a card trick at all. So we have like most of the Pikachus. We have to get like Flying Pikachu V and Surfing Pikachu V Max, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah. And I might have saw something back there. I'm not sure. So we might, yeah, we have something good out of this one. I could already tell. So it looks like we have Palkia, Cosmog, Groudon, and then, uh-oh, another Flying Pikachu VMAX. That's our second one. I didn't know you could even get duplicates out of one of these boxes. I thought that usually it was like only unique cards. All right, so of course the main chase card would be the base set Charizard. So this is our last chance to get the base set Charizard. I certainly would not mind at all to pull that one. Um, it's a really, really nice card. So let's see. Um, let's see if we can get it. So it looks like we have Dialga, Kyogre. Here's a free code card for you guys. And wait, we might have two good pulls. Oh, oh. We have Reshiram and another flying... Wait, no. That was Surfing Pikachu that we pulled. We have pulled all except one of the Pikachus. Wow, two crazy pulls. Wow, this was a really good ETB. We got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine good pulls plus that Talent Flame V, so like ten. And then the Greninja Gold Star. Wow, that was really awesome. Now let's do a recap. Okay guys, so now for the recap, we had some really good pulls. So starting off with all of our hollow rares. So um, you get, um, so we got at least two hollows from every single pack. 
So here they are. I went ahead and sleeved them all up before I recorded this part of the video. If you guys want me to give away some of these, then I might do a giveaway. And now for the um, now for the cards from Celebrations. So we have um, we have the Greninja Gold Star. Um, this is a promo. We didn't really pull it, but still um, very nice card nonetheless. This one was from one of the extra packs that I didn't actually get to open on camera. Talonflame V, and now the ones from Celebrations. We have Rockets Admin, which unfortunately is probably maybe my least favorite um, out of the um, classic collection cards, but still really nice nonetheless. Zamazenta V, pretty playable. Um, I might build a deck around that one. Flying Pikachu V, I really like that one. Um, I have the Flying Pikachu Secret Rare from Evolutions. Two Flying Pikachu VMAXs, which I was surprised I got a duplicate. Surfing Pikachu V. And then Pikachu from Base Set. This is like an extended artwork from Base Set. Um, so yeah, very nice. I really like that one. Now the only one that I need is Surfing Pikachu VMAX, and I'll have every single one. Um, every All five of the Pikachus from the set. And then there's like a gold Pikachu that's a promo. Venusaur from base set, which I'm glad to have a good one now because my old one was bad condition. We have Luxray GL Level X. Um, very, very nice card. Only my third ever Level X. And then Reshiram, the very first full art card. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!